Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of Star Ocean till the end of time. I believe this is Friday's episode and possibly the end. I see a door. Oh, it just it locks for me. Interesting. I do kind of want to take a quick peek at these side sections, but honestly, they've been giving us shit items anyway. So let's just go. Let's quit. Lo oh my goodness. That is a door. It's self progressing. Self progressing walking. Ooh, look at that left section. There's like a little like indented square. That's a big door. Is this the end of time? Oh, that's bright. Okay, we've got a pendulum fitting the time section a uh, name of the game. Is this happening? Okay, you're not some little kid. Also, your cape is beckin' sweet. Owner, I mean Luther. Now do you understand? Stop this right now. Blair? So you led them here. Your defiance knows no bounds, my sister. Oh, interesting, sister. So that's what's going on. So Blair is the owner's sister. The life forms bond within the Eternal Sphere have attained a level of intellectual development that rivals our own. It's time to let them go their own way. You're kidding me. They're nothing but data. The cosmos of the Eternal Sphere is a toy. It's just a game. But we have gained sentience, which is obviously always a concern about AI in the real world. Now that they've developed minds equal to our own, how are they any different from us? The evidence is clear. It's getting harder and harder to interfere in their dimension as we please. Doesn't that prove that they've become equals? That they deserve to live? But they've gained the power to cross into our own dimension and inflict harm on us. Such dangerous entities cannot be ignored. We were literally just reacting to you, like, obliterating us. They didn't appear in our dimension until you tried to destroy theirs. Boom. In my mind, they've done nothing wrong by coming here to stop you. Yeah, it's not like we've been causing any trouble for you. What are you talking about? The very existence of entities like these is causing massive bugs in the Eternal Sphere itself. Tell me what's wrong with eliminating flawed code. I'm a real thinking Roger. Flawed code? But you were the one who claims to have written us in the first place. Still, that does not mean we'll stand by and let you do as you please. We should live and die according to our own free will. This is ridiculous. You're nothing more than a collection of zeros and ones. I mean, I'll be honest, like... I can definitely see this side of things where it's just like, you're a video game. But the fact that we've crossed over into the real world and are theoretically flesh and blood in the real world, that I think says even more than our advanced AI for, you know, normal thought and human emotion. No matter what the real truth is, the fact is we have thoughts and feelings of our own. We want to save our dimension and everyone in it. And people argue, oh, they're programmed to think that they're feeling stuff or programmed to think that they're like believe in stuff. And it's like that not how the human brain works. Like, like come on now, guys. Like we're, we're just our brain's just a big old computer. She's right. We've come all this way thanks to the thoughts and feelings of countless people. Also, again, whoever it was that had me follow that mother. Fuck you. That was so sad. 
daughter dying and we have to go see her in the graveyard. I mean, honestly, though, thank you. That was an amazing thing to see that the game did that, but damn. Allowing you to erase us would betray them all. Thoughts and feelings? What rubbish. Your thoughts and feelings are nothing more than fabrications modeled on our own. Luther, you still don't get it, do you? Shut up already, Blair. It's you who doesn't understand. Pretty big age difference, it looks no like. No matter how high a level of existence they try to reach, there's still nothing but fabrications. Data should obey the will of their creator and submit to deletion. We won't give up! Don't think everything will go your way. We're not your toys! I have a feeling we're not just gonna fight some dude. Be careful! I'm sorry, are we listening to smooth jazz? Are they playing smooth jazz? What the schnitzel, mother lickers? Um. Oh. Oops. Definitely wrong here. We didn't get an achievement. We didn't get experience. This can't be. I'm the creator. Why is this happening? Luther, stop this right now. Hurry, everyone. Get the Eternal Sphere back up. I'll try to fill in the gaps the best I can. This makes no sense. How could this happen to me? How could I be surpassed by my own creations? I mean, the guy that built the giant horse statue outside the Denver Museum uh, got killed by it. Oh, jeez. It's because I took the easy way out by only erasing the problematic data. If the viruses are working together to create their own data, then I should delete everything. But then you don't have a video game to make money off of. Luther? I guess those are like it. the servers? I won't stop with the Milky Way Galaxy. I'll completely delete all the data linked to the Eternal Sphere. That will completely eliminate these viruses too. <laughs> it's so simple. Why didn't I think of it before? Think of the shareholders. No more of your silly tricks. I'll delete the whole universe. Again, this whole time we could have, like, you know, hit him. <laughs> what are you doing? You are putting yourself in great danger by trying this while you're still projected into the Eternal Sphere. Luther, don't do it! <laughs> die, 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 die! Be gone, everyone and everything! Righteousness shall prevail! Sephiroth! Don't let your guard down. Alrighty, what are those perfect berries? <laughs> Heal it! 
Oh, you're healing? Okay, cool. I don't know who you healed, though, so... Physical Enhancer. Um... Symbology. Attack. That does attack. That does, like, everything. Oh my god! What the Fraggle Rock just happened? You turd! Uh, what's the. Oh, Resurrection was. What was the glue one? Okay. And then. Let's do. Perfect berries again. No, gosh darn it! Stop, stop doing that shit, man. I, I don't care about that. Did I seriously not hit it all? Let's see, let's see, resurrection elixir again. The problem is, is the paralysis, which is lavender, no, sage maybe, or is it basil? It's basil. Oh! Alright, what is he up to? I do like symmetrical things. Can I? Hit him, por favor. I'm sorry, you sent me an Anima or something? What is happening over there? Jeez. Um. Can, can, can I, can I not be... Stunlock, por favor. I have no idea what's happening here. What just happened? Uh, I, I don't care. I do not care. <laughs> oh, let's um. I doubt we can get anything from him. So let's see, Luther, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, uh, perfect. Okay, let's try this one more time, or else you're staying down. Data should be Okay. Physical enhancer. No, let's do perfect berries again because multiple people need it. It, this is where people be like, see, so you didn't get stuff to be uh, immune to this stuff, and now it's your fault. I'm be like, yeah, I fucking know that. Thanks. Don't gotta be a jerk about it. Don't gotta be a jerk. Okay. I really wish I had um um Sophie in this party. I just don't how to know how to freaking hit this guy is kind of the problem. Um, like I can't get in there. Or I can't. I can't touch him. You know. Okay, never mind. Whatever. I beat him.
within five minutes. That was a trophy. Interesting. I wonder if there's a minute one as well. Prettiness. The angel feathers. Bait doing his thing. Erased. IC1613. Erased. NGC6822. Erased. At this rate, everything will be deleted. Our universe is vanishing before our eyes. It is. Oh no. Do you think that maybe we were too late? going to happen just believe just believe that we exist here and now you're right we're not just mere data that someone created mm -hmm. just because we were told to accept deletion doesn't mean we have to give up no way that's right Sophia Choose to live! There's nothing left. Everything has completely vanished. Light, air, even my own body no longer exists. Absolute nothingness. Hmm? Nothingness? So nothing really exists anymore? But if that were true, then what about this thought? This thought is real, and I am aware of this thought. So... There is something left. There has to be. That means that I'm still alive. Welcome back, Fate. Those graphics were pretty. Hey! What took you so long? Existential crisis. 
Welcome back, Fate. Hey, guys. Does mean my dad's not dead anymore? Took you long enough. Yeah. I see you guys are okay, too. What a relief. Ah, uh, dad died to the, in the game. But I wonder what happened to us. Don't ask me, idiot. How the hell would I know? All that we can see in our dimension, and everything we can touch, it's all been a fabrication created for us to perceive. And now Luther has disabled our perception of such things, effectively erasing them from existence. Without perception, there is no existence. And yet, even though everything around us was an illusion, I'm positive that our minds, which perceive that dimension, really do exist. Gorgeous music, by the way. You're right. No matter what Luther claims, our minds are the only things that were real. That's exactly why Luther was unable to erase our consciousness. He merely deleted all the illusions around us. Doing so could not possibly erase that which actually exists outside of his creation. So, you're saying Luther never acknowledged our existence? Does his failure to do so explain why we still exist here? Maybe. Strictly speaking, the universe as we know it most likely no longer exists. Nevertheless, we still feel its existence in our minds. If everyone in that universe still feels like we do right now, then that universe really does exist. No matter what really happened, I'm with Roger. <laughs> Does it really matter? Haven't we taken care of everything? If we have, then let's just leave it at that. Good point. We exist here, and so does the universe. And that's enough. Let's go. Let's go back to where we belong. Let's go, Fate. To our... to everyone's universe. Wow, okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, we always show the credits in my Let's Plays, um, and I typically do some talking throughout them as well, so, you know, you don't have to leave right away, um, and I always think it's respectful to the creators and everyone that worked hard on a game to, you know, look through, let them play. Um, plus, we usually get some cool visuals, you know, um, so, okay, that was a very good game. Uh, I think that's easily easy to say. Um, it obviously has some good things and bad things. Some of those might be subjective. Some might be objective, but that's always a really hard one to say. Um, when it comes to the game, the story was strong. It, you know, it, it it had its arcs. It had its okay. We're under attack, and oh, we've been captured, and then oh, the vin or we've got to help solve this battle between two, and then it came to like you know oh the Vendini, and then it's like, wait, 
other dimensional beings, or, you know, the executioners have it with the gods. And then we learned about the 4D and learned about it being a game. So it's, you know, it went through multiple, multiple uh, arcs and feelings. And I feel that had I gone faster, the story might make a little more sense. But I think we also got to see some really cool stuff in between, such as um, so that little side dungeon, crafting, uh, running around to pick up, you know, uh, inventors, trying crafting out, stuff like that. Um, it's weird though, because like looking back, I don't feel like I did a ton of side stuff. But dungeon, I think what took so long is dungeons are just long in this game. Like, there, when a dungeon takes a whole, is that Nell? Oh, why you gotta do this to me, game? Uh, it, it's just um. It, uh, I, I, the dungeons are just very, very long. <gasps> Look who it is! It's Big Daddy. That's so cool to show him. So cool. Um, but I also feel like sometimes those long dungeons are kind of a downfall. So that's what I would call a subjective negative. To where sometimes it felt great and sometimes it didn't. I think since I'm Let's Playing, it was more of a negative, but where I play it on my own, without recording and stuff, I wouldn't see it as a downfall at all. So, uh, that's an interesting one, I think. Um, sometimes I just feel like, man, we took so long in a dungeon to get anywhere. And sometimes it was my fault, you know, just not getting the, the, um, the, the puzzle right away, and then some I caught on really fast. Um, None were that hard, but like, for instance, the dragon head one. When I was like, man, I don't know what to do, and then it's like, oh, I've got to go back and pick up a dragon head. But since the dungeon took so long, and of course me being distracted with Let's Play, it, um... Oh, it's the kids! It's Nicholas! I forget his sister's name, Mia? Oh, a bunny and... Who's the big guy? Someone from the circus, maybe? Because that looked like Pepita. So, really hoping for a non-human character in Grandia, because we only got uh, Roger in this game, who is great, mind you, but he was super, he was still very human. I want, like, a full-on anthropomorphic animal or something, or something that's on all fours. Like, yeah, guys, I would love a kitty cat. Mm -hmm. Um... So I'm hoping, oh, look, there's uh, another drag, or that was uh, an annihil uh, Annihilator? I think that's what they're called, something like that. Um, but yeah, I think the cast was great in this game. I don't, I still don't like, try as you did it, so I still don't like that you can't just have all the characters. Like, let me have Nell, let me have Pepita. But I guess I kind of get it, because that's a large cast, and that for a game like this, where the combats are hard, you don't want to split your experience too much. Like, that last boss would, would have probably been a lot easier if I had, you know, not split my party the entire game. But I don't know. But in the end, I really, really liked this game. I will recommend it to people. Um, I'll describe it as a fantasy game with sci-fi elements, because it's not a sci-fi game for the most part. Oh, scene. It's about that time. Yes, it is. Say hi to the old man for me. Then apologize to him. Tell him I'm sorry I can't take over the dojo. Sure, Cliff. Is his health all that bad? I can't believe it. He's such a tough old guy, I always thought he was indestructible. I think he's exaggerating a little bit. He just wants me to come home, that's all. I see. Well, he sure does seem down in the dumps. Maybe it's just his age catching up with him. Probably, and I've been away for so long. Yeah.
transport Canis will be departing for Claus Systems shortly. Passengers wishing to board the Canis should report to Gate 3. Okay, obviously the audio was god awful in this game. Well, I have to go or I'll miss the transport. See you later, Cliff. I'm sorry, but I wish I could go back with you. But it's pretty much impossible the way things stand. Yes, you got the short end of the stick again. Don't worry about it. That's what I like about you, Cliff. Aww. I wonder if they're an item. Or gonna be. So I learned that, um... Cliff trained under her dad, and that's why they have a similar fighting style. Dude, you we, you don't deserve a scene. I guess that's about as much as you can do with those limp noodles you call arms. If you want to go home, go right ahead. No, I can do a few more. <laughs> Just so you know, it's not like I'm forcing you or anything. If you can't handle how I do things around here, feel free to quit at any time. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Claire? No. Um. Oh, it is Claire. Father, whatever are you making them do? I'm merely training your subordinates, as you seem unfit for the task. Wow. I'm commanding this unit, Father, not you. Please don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Their main tasks involve office work and research. There's no need to force them to train like this. What are you talking about? Are these pallid wimps supposed to be recognized as members of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Legion? Which is entrusted with the defense of the kingdom? Yeah, they're mages. The owner of a healthy body is the owner of a healthy spirit. You spoil them too much. The way you do things, only owners of unhealthy spirits will be left, Father. I'm right, Claire. I have my own way of doing things. Please stop interfering. Tell them. All right, everyone. Time to head back. Please, Lady Claire, no. Allow me to continue a little longer. He's right. We're so close. Watch me. I'll make it to the end. I know I can. What? See? They all want to finish. Why don't you just back off, huh? Huh? A hundred and seven... A hundred and eight. I can do more. A hundred and twelve. Lady Claire, I'm sorry. I don't like this scene at all. no big deal. I just promised them that whoever lasts till the end of my workout program gets to marry you. That's all. Well, it's not what? like I've got somebody else picked out, so I'll pick one for you. Father, now that's really going too far. I'll pick my own husband, thank you very much. You know, that's why you're still single after all this time. I think part of the problem is that you don't associate with any gentleman. And at your age, too. Wow. I'll thank you not to worry about that sort of thing. Sorry to step away for a moment to let Baba Yaga eat her food, but... Wow. Oh, Roger! Oh, yeah. Her dad's a dick. Uh, huh? What's wrong? What happened? What's wrong? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong. 
what's wrong? J j just now? Uh huh. Hey, it was nothing. I just felt like yelling all of a sudden. That's all. Hmm. Well, all right. Just don't scare me like that. I thought my heart was going to stop. What do you mean? Did we just scare you just now? <laughs> Coward. I was worried about you. <laughs> well, if something happened to you guys, it'd be my fault for bringing you here. Is that Krozel's lair? I gotta make sure you don't get eaten by a monster or something. <laughs> eaten? Ah, shut up, shut up! You don't have to take care of us. We're fine on our own. Let's get this over with. We can't get this close to the treasure and then just give up. Right, Lazard? Uh, of course. According to my investigations, deep inside this underground cavern is a treasure so wonderful it defies description. How could we go home without it? But I'm afraid of getting hurt. Aren't we going home? Ah, who cares about that? We'll worry about it after we find the treasure. That doesn't look like Russell's lair. If it's something we can split up, we'll split it up. If not, whoever wants it can take it. Anyway, now's the time to enjoy the adventure. All right, let's go. Hey, wait! Don't you cut ahead of me! Wait a second! If the treasure up ahead is what I expect, then I think that people like you with strange brain deficiencies won't get any use out of it. Oh, thanks, Lazard. If you guys put your dirty paws on that treasure before me, the rightful owner, lol! Wait! Lucian! Lazard! Does Villian have a tail? We'll still get one for Nell and Pepita since we didn't recruit them. Hmm. Who'd have known there was a place like this in the dungeons underneath the castle? In another dungeon? The elite investigative team hasn't come back. Did they fight over credit or goof up? I didn't think they'd have any problem with this mission. I guess I expected too much from them. They may be useless, good-for-nothing worms, but I guess I'd better at least recover their corpses. Or as ever. <sighs> Another guest. First six, then one. Foolish bravery, or is it recklessness? Hmm? You look like something of a fighter, but you are still a man of this world. You are no match for me. It would be best for you if you just went home peacefully. Or would you prefer to become another one of my mute servants, like those who came before? Ho oh, ho! So you're the cause of all the problems. And what if I was? Don't expect to die painlessly. I'll smash your face until you're begging me to kill you and get it over with. <laughs> you're a brave one. However... I am a servant of the gods, created by Falstaff, the god of death. Do you really think I would sully myself? by fighting with a lowly mortal organism like yourself. Oh, you're scared. Karima, Roxa, Mizua, Saska, come out, my servants. He gets an interesting one.
What the? Bah! You scum! You who were abandoned by the gods you served and left behind on this land. May I, in my great kindness, extend a special hand of charity to you and retrieve you as my own? Look at what's happened to you, fools! Think of your place! Ah, how terribly unfortunate. Very well. It is time for you to burn in eternal despair! It's about time. Wonder how that went. System lock. Gravitic Wonder how that went for him. Now, let's return from Gravitic Warp Space to Normal Space. Okay, and the rest is all up to the autopilot. About 30 minutes left till we reach Genesis System. The thing I don't get is why we have to meet face to face in this day and age. <laughs> what a waste of time. All we have to do is take care of this through communications or whatever. That's a tricky problem. When technology moves forward, ways to abuse it are also born. Unless everyone in the universe suddenly turns into good little boys and girls someday. I think meeting face-to-face -face will still be the safest way to go. Ah, boss. You're awake already? We've still got some time left before we arrive. We have to meet with the Vendini. I know, but we're going to meet with some bigwigs from the old Federation government. Or that. I don't know how we'll handle them in the new government, but I can't just roll out of bed right before our meeting, can I? <laughs> I guess it's tough to be famous. <laughs> I didn't get famous on purpose. It was more of a process of elimination thing. But honestly, flying all over the place on a daily basis like this? Doesn't it give you lots of food for thought? I'm always worried that my wife will leave me or something. Actually, today's my daughter's birthday. But here I am. That sucks. You gotta go home sometimes. I'm no ogre, you know. If you ask for a vacation, I won't say no. That won't work either, will it? Since Quark has disbanded, we really lack personnel. Well, I guess I'm still all right. My wife, she understands about all that. Much little girl. Ah, that reminds me. I put all the mail that arrived while you were asleep in the usual place. You've got about 200 this time. At least 20 of those are priority A, too. Ugh, I bet it's fan letters from all those two faced geezers again, huh? Well, I can't just ignore them, but they're so depressing to read, I just don't feel like looking at them. There were some dinner date invitations from some fine young women mixed in there, too. What's that? From who? From Ophelia of Tetragenesis and Ally of the planet Midgard. One invitation each. Midgard. Well, they are both beautiful, but I bet this'll turn out even worse than the letters from those old men. I never was any good at figuring out what those kinds of people are really thinking. Just more ulcers for me, as always. All I want is a nice, relaxing dinner. Raj. If only fate or Maria would come back, things would go a little bit easier. Wait, where did they go? Well, that's not gonna happen. It's not like they were doing what they were doing for the fun of it, anyway. Someday events may draw them back out again, but until that happens, I don't expect to see those two involved in politics. Are they pulling an Ender and his sister? Up, everything would be so much easier. Very much like Ender and his sister. Yeah, well, you know this is an age-based ranking system, so there's nothing we can do. Till it's our turn to pass the baton, all us old folks can do is keep on struggling. 
age based, really? I myself want to find a place to retire and take it easy for a while. The best thing about the whole thing is, we know the next generation is excellent, so there's nothing to worry about. Something the boomers will never say about us. I agree with both points. Still, I guess there's no use complaining. We'll just have to work as hard as we can to leave as few problems as possible for the next generation. Also something the boomers would never say. That's the job of old guys like us. Alright, who's next? Maria. At last. Time to say goodbye to the ship. If you think about it, all the days of my struggle began and ended on this ship. Thinking back again, it wasn't such a long time, but there's still so much that we have to remember. This is the last chance. All right, I'm gonna do it. God. Uh, um, Captain, I have something I want to talk to you about. Do no. you mind? Oh boy. There he goes. There yep. he goes. All right. Either he succeeds or everything falls apart. What a sight to behold. Thank you for all your hard work. I never would have been able to make it this far without you. Thanks, Lieber. So, what did you want to talk about? Uh, Captain, I mean, Maria, um, that is, I mean... Uh-huh. What is it? What are you so nervous about? If there's something I can help with, just say the word and I'll do it. Are you sure you want to let this chance pass you by? Won't you regret it later? Don't let it stress you out. Follow your heart. Hmm. It's okay. I've gotten over him. You liked Lieber? You can't keep fighting for a lost cause forever, you know. You'd have to be pretty stupid to keep trying and trying. Like good old Lieber here. Find someone better, Marietta. Okay, let's all go back home to where we belong. We have to start our new lives for ourselves now. Thank you very much for using Kratos Spaceport 3 today. High-speed shuttles have been made ready on Platform 2 as a temporary measure for the sake of passengers traveling to towns on Kratos and Kur. These shuttles will launch at 1200 and 1315. Passengers traveling to Kratos and Kur are asked to board promptly. Is that where Mirage was going? Oh! Oh, the OG clothing! Hey, Sophia, you look a little pale. You must be exhausted. Do we still have Pepita's drawing on our back? Yes, a little, but I'm fine. That transport ship was so crowded we could hardly sit down. You should take it easy, okay? Oh no, she's gonna have the pants that aren't buttoned up. Thanks, but I'm fine, really. And of course the ship was crowded. Everybody else has someone they want to see, too. Good point. Lots of families were affected. You know, hearing these people's stories, I think we should count ourselves lucky not to have lost any more than we did. I'm so happy to finally see them. Yay. Come on, Fate. I can't wait all day for you. Hey, wait up, Sophia. And so, I mean, Dad's still dead. Oh. The end. I'm actually surprised we beat this already. It felt... I mean, I guess people have told me that it's the post-game that's super-duper long, and I'm like, okay, that's weird. Saved, cleared game information. 
Wow. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, I guess that's Star Ocean till the end of time. I, I don't know about post-game at this time. So, just a big thank you for anyone to anyone and everyone that supported this Let's Play. It was a long one. Uh, but not as long as I thought it'd be. You know, it wasn't like Dragon Quest long. But again, um, I guess that's post-game stuff. But I don't know. But again, thank you all so much. Take care of yourselves. But until next time... In the next project, bye-bye for now.